The Cancer Association of South Africa has launched the Cancer e Kick Butt program to help people quit smoking. The program involves an online kit and support program. Now there are two high profile ambassadors who are currently smoking and are prepared to publicly announce their support and take part in the e Kick Butt program. They are Lillian Dube, actress and breast cancer survivor, and ex South African cricketer Pat Simcox. They're joining us now in studio to tell us more about the program. People, to both of you, good morning and um, welcome, elders. Uh, Mamli Nien and uh, Ntate Pat Simcox. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> good to have both of you here. Um, I'm going to start with you, Pat, and just um, take us through this program and what it's all about and have you started quitting already? I have started, believe it or not, I started yesterday morning at 6 o'clock mm -hmm. and I hadn't have had a cigarette since then. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 12-week program which runs with cancer. Um, you get a backup of a psychologist, three people who back you up as well. You can go online, you can register and be part of um, the new way that uh, cancer is going to beat people smoking. Mm -hmm. People like us mm -hmm. who've uh, <laughs> We've been trying for a long time, but we think we're on it, and, uh -huh. and the World Cup's here, so what a good time to give up today. Mm -hmm. Mamelin, in how many years has it been that you're smoking, and you're a cancer survivor, and one would think that automatically you'd want to stop it. How difficult is it, and um, how, how is this program going to be helping you? I think it's going to help me. The fact that I'm here telling the whole world that I want to stop, mm -hmm. I'll have to be trustworthy and not smoke. But I am finishing my packet today. Mm -hmm. I want to stop tomorrow when <laughs> the soccer starts. <laughs> so I can say mm -hmm. I stopped when the Bafana Bafana were playing mm -hmm, mm -hmm, years mm -hmm. in 2010. Okay. Pat, now the, the, it's, you say it's a 12-week program. You say psych psychologists are involved in the, in, yes. the, in, in the program. What sort of steps do they take you through? Because I can imagine you probably want to kill people or something. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I think, I think uh, it start, I'm starting now, today. Mm -hmm. I, I stopped smoking yesterday. And I'm going on the program from today. And it's a 12-week program at your own pace. Mm -hmm. And uh, you pay a couple of bucks. And I know... The money that you pay goes to a schools program mm -hmm. um, in assisting people to stop smoking in schools. And so that, for me, is a worthwhile cause. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just, um, you know, just 12 weeks of seriously getting in there and making sure you do your bit. And mm -hmm. if I can give up, hey, you know what, there's a lot of out there, <laughs> a lot of my mates out there that I challenge them all to, uh, to get involved. Mm -hmm. um, do you believe um, having s stopped smoking, you now need to substitute in something else? Because I know a lot of people, for example, will stop smoking, but they eat a hell of a lot of sweets um, because they, 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 they've stopped smoking. But what, what other mechanisms or ways are you going to try and find to substitute uh, and stop yourself from smoking, Mum? I'm going to stop drinking coffee because a cigarette is very nice after coffee. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start going to the gym religiously mm -hmm. so that I don't have to eat sweets. I can't even afford to eat them because I'm a diabetic. Mm -hmm. So I really have to be disciplined and uh, stop all my other habits that remind me to smoke. Mm -hmm. Well, we're mm. going to be checking up on you and hopefully you'll, you'll pass the 12-week program. Before we go, in the spirit of the World Cup, what message do you have for Bafana Bafana, Pat? I think that it's, it's a time, it's a defining moment for, for them and for our country and they should enjoy the time, enjoy the moment, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Mamelinia, what do you have to say for, to Bafana Bafana? I'm saying to Bafana Bafana, they must believe in themselves. We are all behind them and we want them to win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're all behind you and hopefully you can um, conquer your, 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 your habit. And uh, after 12 weeks, we'll check in with you and um, I hope you'll have uh, stuck to it. I mean, you also want to make it to 91 like Madiba, right? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Most definitely. Well, thank you to yeah. both of you for having Pleasure. come into studio for us. That was Lillian Dube and Pat Simcox. It's over to Iman. Tobacco use is the second largest cause of death globally after hypertension and is currently responsible for killing one in 10 adults worldwide. These figures alone should encourage smokers to kick the habit and yet many find it near impossible to quit. Ex-cricketer Pat Simcox and veteran actress Lillian Dube are two smokers who are making a public declaration to kick cigarettes in the butt and quit smoking with the help of the new e-kick butt support program from the Cancer Association of South Africa. And to tell us more, we're joined by Pat Simcox and veteran actress Lillian Dubem. I'm Lillian, and to you, Pat, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you been trying to quit smoking? I stopped for three years and then went back to smoking because I felt left out, because smokers are actually very sociable people. <laughs> and, and it's those myths as well that say, oh, you, I need to de-stress after a hard day's work and you'll pick up a cigarette, and yet we don't know the physical impact, or at least you can't see it yeah. at face value. I think that both Lillian and I now today are much more informed of the 
the bad things about smoking than we were 20 years ago, 30 years ago. I think, I think it's got to that point where, where you, you know eventually, as a smoker out there, and there are many out there, that know, in fact, you've got to give up. Yes. You know, and, and I don't think it was that way for us 20 years ago, was it? No. no. Yeah. You know, that's what we did. Yeah. Kind of everybody smoked, you know, it was that fine. That was social, it was glamorous. And I remember the ads were painting smokers as this wonderful, rich, beautiful people. Yes. I remember when I started smoking, I thought I'd have a car. It took me such a long time to buy a car, and I thought, where's the car I'm smoking? Where's the car? <laughs> you should smoke in an airplane. Yes. In those days, you know? Mm. And today, you think about it, how it's changed and, and moved away, and I think, mm. Just the realization dawns on both of us now that mm. now the time has come, and um, we need to do something about it. And, and smokers are now ostracized in a sense. I mean, you're made to feel uh, like you have leprosy yes, or yes, you have a plague yes, of yes, sorts, yes, and yes, yes. you're isolated. Yes. Also, it is very uncomfortable to smoke in that. I mean, whenever I have to travel, I'm thinking, I'm not looking forward to traveling because I'm thinking I'm not going to be able to smoke. Mm -hmm. And when I go to people's places, I choose those that are going to allow me to smoke. So in a way, I have also ostracized myself. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how then do you become part of this campaign if you fully, uh, you're not convinced that you can kick the habit? Is it possible to just give up smoking based I, I on I don't know if it is possible for me or for Lillian for that matter, but I work it and I had my last cigarette and I said, that's it, mm. I want to see if I can stop smoking. I'm going on this campaign and Cancer South Africa are putting us mm. on it and take us down the road and they say it's pretty successful and if it is, you know what, I'll be a grand or two wealthier every mm. month. Yeah, mm. yeah, mm. And, and also you know, healthier. And healthier. Yeah. Well, mm. and, but, you know. but you were diagnosed with breast cancer in 2007, that in itself should have been a scare enough, but it's just the, the addictive mm. nature of or, or toxic products within cigarettes that keeps you wanting to come back. Yes, yes. So I am really looking forward to stopping. And you know what is the beautiful thing is that tomorrow Bafana Bafana start playing and then Pat was saying to me, it would be nice for, to, for me to say, I stopped uh, when Bafana Bafana started playing. So yes. I am really looking forward to it. All right, Pat, talk us through the program. What does it entail? Is it uh, scare tactics? Do they show you any graphic images of what smokers' lungs look like? Or, or do they ease you into it? No, uh, it's, it's not about that. It's a 12-week program where you yourself sign in. Like, you know, if you, you're you not going to stop anything you don't want to. Mm -hmm. so you sign in and you get a full support system of an you know, access to a psychologist. Three other people will back you up. It's part of a Facebook group. You're part of email systems. Um, you, there's, a, there's a line to call if any stage you, you have a problem, you feel you want and you're going to lose it, go back to smoking. Mm -hmm. So they, they talk, walk you through the whole program. Um, and, and so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable that I'm going to go down this road, but I thought I'll start a, I'll start up front. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much for both of you for joining us. So we're speaking to ex-cricketer Pat Simcox and veteran actress Mum Lillian Dube on the e kick Bat Support Program from Cancer Association of South Africa. And for more information, please visit uh, the cancer website. That's cancer.org.za.